This is the Shiatsu Massage Pillow. It comes with all the parts that you see here. It has a electrical plug-in, so you can plug it into the wall and have it work. But it also comes with a car adapter. Uh, just plug that in your cigarette lighter and you're good to go. So you can travel with this if you like. This is very compact. It's not, uh, it's not too large at all. So I could envision people wanting to travel with it. It also has a strap that presumably you could use um, to strap it behind a chair so it um, stays stable. So I'm going to plug it in right now and demonstrate how it works. Okay, so I have it plugged in. Put that away. Okay, so it is now plugged in. So it operates with two buttons right here and here. So this is the on off button and then this is the speed button. So if you touch the button once, it's going to turn on, start rotating and turn red. Just like that. The red indicates that heat is being used. Now this is not like a very intense heat by any stretch of the imagination. As a matter of fact, my husband, when he used it, he, he was surprised when I said it heats up and I it looked and it was on the hot mode and he's like, oh, I didn't even notice. I noticed because I'm very sensitive to heat, but all I'm trying to point out is the heat is not a very intense or painful heat. It's a heat that anybody will be able to tolerate. If I'm able to tolerate it, anybody can. Um, if you don't want this uh, heat, you just hit the power button again. It will keep rotating, but without the heat. And then if you hold it again for a long pause, it turns off. So let's turn it back on again. So it will rotate around and then it will automatically switch directions after a certain amount of time. You use this button to change the speed so it was on low this is medium and then this is high the uh, these rotating um, balls on the inside are very very hard plastic they're not flexible at all and then this is just a fabric mesh screen um, And that's how it works. And then this part is kind of a a, pla a pleather, kind of a plasticky material. So you can use this on most any part of your body. They suggest uh, primarily the lower back, uh, the legs. Let me look at the manual again. I was thinking it was for neck, but I didn't see that they listed that as one of their preferred... Um, they have feet, they have back, they have abdomen, which I wouldn't have thought of, but yeah, that makes sense if you're having, you know, cramps or you've been doing a lot of, uh, sit-ups or something, maybe you would want that. And then the calf area. Um, so it doesn't say anything about neck. Um, so I don't know if that means you're not supposed to use it on neck or not. I guess my rule of thumb is if it if it feels good to to do it, then go ahead and do it. Um, but yeah, I, this primarily seems like something that would be great for the lower back. It's just very relaxing. It doesn't make a lot of noise. I don't know if you can hear it whirring while I'm speaking, but it, it's fairly quiet. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool little little device. And see, oh, there it changed directions.